Well, hi. So, I've been playing Stardew for a while, mostly on Switch. Um, but I have been playing on PC for a few hours as well. And um, I thought I'd share some of the mods I found. So, the first one was um, a portrait mod that I really like. It was from Virtue. It's still showing, actually. And, um, fun fact, it actually means ca cabbage in Korean. So... <laughs> I love that their username is called Cabbage. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go through a few mods and uh, show them off. Just a note, uh, this isn't really a guide to on how to mod your game, especially not like on um, Android or even on PC. The best thing you can do um, when getting into PC modding for Stardew is to make sure you have Smappy installed and to check uh, the specified requirements. So each mod um, either has or hasn't a file that it needs uh, to run properly. So most of it is content patcher, um, a lot of mods use that these days. Um, other mods are like X and B files that you physically have to go replace on the game files themselves. Uh, so for instance, uh, that's what I had to do with a later mod, one of the enchanted garden buildings, that one used it. Uh, the Hanbok Scarecrows that I'll be showing later on uses that as well. So in that case, uh, just make sure you've backed up your saves and uh, just remember if you're on Steam or something, you can always uh, restore your game files or just completely reinstall it. I think Steam has a function that saves your uh, save files as well, but uh, just always back those up. But um, yeah, uh, best advice I can give you if you're struggling with modding is to follow the instructions and see what you're missing maybe another mod is overwriting another one um, which happened with my fish ponds at one point and um, I think one of the recolors was overwriting the fish pond so it wasn't coming up uh, with the mod I used so uh, yeah just look out for that and uh, go play your game how you want to Thank you. 